welcome to Landed Fishing. On today's episode, we're gonna go sheephead fishing. It's early spring in Tampa Bay. It's a little warm today, flat calm, so it warms up a little bit out here. It is the south, a little more south than what I grew up, but the south south. We are gonna go target some sheephead on rock piles. These sheephead are here in good numbers out here, and um, they're either gonna be on the reefs or on the rock piles and stuff like that. Um, there's a lot of structure around here to, for them to, to hang out on. I've fished rock piles plenty before, um, so kinda expect what I'm doing. We're gonna use some shrimp on a jig head, just real simple fishing, and see what we can do. We got a little bit of tide. If the tide's not rolling yet, we'll wait a little while, and usually when the tide gets moving pretty good, they'll either size up or they'll start biting one of the two. If they're small when there's low, low tide, you know, slow tide, we'll catch a lot of small ones. Or if it's, uh, when the tide gets going, those bigger ones will start biting. So we'll see what we can do today. They are keepable here in Tampa Bay. You are allowed to keep them. But we will not be today because we don't have any ice on the boat. And, uh, but they are good table fare. Really good table fare, actually underrated by far. So they make imitation crab meat out of them when they, uh, oil and cheesecloth. So stay tuned. Please subscribe to Land of Fishing. Putting a lot of work into this. I'm trying to teach y'all the simple ways to catch fish. Stay tuned. And get up on the motor and see what we can do. guys so we went out and did a little bit of uh sheephead fishing and we're able to catch them and then they shut off when the tide shut off so they got small for a second and then they kind of shut off but we were able to catch them we probably caught about 10 or 12 of them i'm gonna give you a rundown of what we use as far as a rig so we used a quarter ounce jig head go through the whole thing start to finish quarter ounce jig head which all the stuff will be in the uh below all the products that we used Quarter ounce jig head on a black nickel shank hook. Seaguar 25 pound fluorocarbon tied with a double uni knot and then also tied with the uni knot. And then we use 20 pound braid on these reels. This reel is the Florida Fishing Products 4000 with the power handle. Like I said, spool with the 20 pound braid. And the rod we're using is, is a Reaper rod, it's called. Uh, I've been really impressed with these rods and these reels. I've been impressed with both. It's a Reaper rod, seven foot six, medium heavy is what we use today. Uh, it's got the micro guides in it. Uh, it. It is a great rod, lightweight, very well balanced. Um, very, very happy with these products. Love the the, um, the actual grip on it. it. It holds really good, especially when I'm trout fishing and stuff like that on a slimy fish. Same with the power handle. One of the reasons why I'm using a power handle is because I'm getting ready to go trout fishing. I'm gonna try and catch some specs on the way in. Uh, and I will show you the baits that I will use for that here in a second. Um, we're going to throw some matrix shads out in plastics on a quarter ounce jig head. I'm going to take this exact setup and take a matrix shad, probably a magneto or any kind of clear color. And I'm going to go by these grass beds and I'm going to find these color change lines where the grass and the sand change. And I'll pitch in there and I'm going to jig through there, slowly jig through that area to get them to react. It's a good ambush point for them. But we'll see what we do on that and I'll talk to you more about that when we get over there. But the power handle is great with trout and stuff like that because of the slime that they create. The smaller handles just get really hard to hold on to. So it's nice to see a small reel with a power handle. Most of your small reels have a small knob. Uh, your bigger reels all have the power handles. So great setup. Uh, check it out down below and uh, make sure you subscribe to what we're doing. We'll keep showing you local good products. Thank you.
Little Matrix Shad. Little Magneto Matrix. Quarter ounce jig head. Same rig we were using for sheephead fishing. Let's see what kind of damage we can do. Matrix Shad, Magneto, nice speckled trout, really nice speckled trout in here. Tide's a little slack still, it's just getting going, so they're a little slower, a lot of ladyfish, big ladyfish around, but we're going to catch a few, show you all how we do it, and then I'll show you all the, keep going, I'll show you all the grass lines and how they look like and how we fish them. Got some really nervous water in front of me, or what we call nervous water, which is what it looks like the water's kind of shaking. The bait's kind of on edge because obviously there's some predators around. And uh, let's see what I can do. Throw a couple casts. Like I said, the trout bite shut off a little bit. The sharks in the area. This could be sharks, could be jacks making this bait nervous. We'll find out here in a second. All right, guys, I'm going to show y'all a little bit about what these color change edges look like. So basically, I'm on a four to six foot flat. And uh, the depths, you know, stays about that. Anywhere over eight, anywhere under three, you're really not gonna catch a lot of them. Uh, I'm gonna show you, so I don't know how well you'll be able to see because the water's pretty dirty, but there is a color change right there where the grass goes and there's like a pothole in the middle where it's all opened up. On those edges, if you throw over that pothole and fish those edges and jig it along those edges, that's where those speckled trout will be ambushing all be on those edges of those potholes you find a big sand flat area then you're probably not going to catch anything as soon as you get on those flats look for those potholes i like to find a whole grass area with a little small circle maybe 10 feet 20 feet wide that's open of sand and throw all around that they're going to be ambushing that corner so uh, hopefully that tip works for y'all take it slow around those edges i slow the lure down jig 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 a bunch of times and see if I can't get a bite and then I reel it up fast. I don't waste my time a lot of times going through the grass areas. Now you will find some flounder in there every once in a while. I think I caught two of them the other day fishing like that. So hopefully that helps y'all out with a little tip on how to catch these speckled trout.